Today we're going to learn about the range and x-range functions in Python 2 and Python 3. So you may know that this was a big part of the transition from Python 2 to Python 3, um, that x-range no longer exists in Python 3. So what I have here is Python 2 and Python 3 side by side, and we're going to compare them and see the differences between range and x-range in both versions of Python. So here on the left, I have my Python 2 environment where we can use the xRange function. And on the right, I have my Python 3 environment where I cannot use the xRange function. As I said, xRange no longer exists. Um, it never made it into Python 3. Um, what we do have, however, in Python 3 is the range function. Okay, so we'll come back to that. Um, but here is our Python 2 environment, and this also has the range function. And so you can see they behave a little bit differently, right? So xRange is returning an xRange object, and range is returning a list. And actually, remember, our range here is returning a range object. So the, there's a difference in the output uh, for that same range function based on if you're using Python 2 or Python 3. Okay, so let's focus on Python 2. So the first thing I want to do is look at this xRange object and examine it a bit. So I want to see what type it has. And we see we have an xRange object. Next, I want to see uh, what happens if I wrap a list around it. And we get, um, we get our list, that's good. And next, I want to actually assign this. So we're going to say a equals x range. And here we have our x range object assigned to a. Next, what I want to do is actually create a range object and assign that to b. So again, we have an x range object and a range object, or actually just kind of a result. And here's what I want to do. I want to show you guys something. So we're going to import sys. And we're going to run sys get size of a. And this 40 here basically represents uh, the size of a in memory. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And let's try this on b as well. And you see that you, you get 112. You get a higher number. And so again, a is our x range object, which has a smaller number uh, than b, which is, I, I guess, a normal list not even a range object, it's just a normal list. So X range is smaller, and that's why some people say that it is faster. So I think that's why people actually got caught on the conversion of Python 3, is they were using uh, X range in Python 2 because they heard it was faster, but then you know they got to do all this rework and go back and change all those X range functions to range functions in Python 3. So basically what happened is the X range object became the range object in Python 3. So this range of 5 and that x range, I mean, I'm sure they, they made some improvements, but it's basically the same thing. Oh, I was also thinking just for fun, let's import sys here and just see uh, how big this one is. So we'll do get size of, oh, I guess we got to assign it or I'll just do it the lazy way. All right, fine. So a equals range 5. Here we have our range object. And actually, I'll show you that we have a range object first. And now let's run sys get size of on this and get 48. So you can see it's much more comparable to our 40 for the x range object than it is to be with that list, that range. So you can see that uh, X range from Python 2 and range of Python 3, I guess would probably run at a similar speed, um, take a similar amount of space in memory, right? And maybe we could create a, a list from scratch with five values. Okay, so we have our variable B here in Python 3. And when we check that in the system, it's 112. So look at that, I'm, I actually didn't even have this plan, but we have 112 in Python 3, and then we have 112 um, in Python 2. So 
And I guess just to put that on the screen, there's 112 again. Look at that. So pretty interesting. Okay, so I guess just to wrap it up, uh, the X range function from Python 2 became the range function in Python 3. And then the range function from Python 2, um, I guess just didn't make it to Python 3. I don't know what they did with it. Uh, the X range object no longer exists in Python 3. And I guess the range object had never existed in Python 2. Um, so these are things that you're going to have to consider if you're moving from Python 2 to Python 3. And for everyone else that kind of started on Python 3, I guess this is just a part of history. Um, you might not, if you're a new Python developer, you might not have ever even known that there was something called XRange that no longer works in Python 3. Um, anyways, thanks for watching.